All right. Well, first of all, hello, ladies. Hello. How hello. y'all doing? Great. Doing great. I'm so Thank happy you. to have you guys here. And you look so beautiful in person. <laughs> Thank it's you. always better to see the clients in person. My family in person, right? Yeah. All right, good stuff. So first we're going to start out with introductions. Uh-huh. I go to my right, and I'll go on to my left first. So, ma'am, go ahead and, and let them know who you are. Okay. Give them your, not only do you give them your name, but give them your full background. Give them your specialty and all those things. Okay, definitely. Well, my name is Allison Jordan, and I am board certified in internal medicine, psychiatry, hospice and palliative medicine, and culinary medicine. I love it. Culinary medicine. Tell me some more about that. (laughs) He's like, wait a second. (laughs) Yes. So culinary medicine is the integration of Mm -hmm. nutritional science with medicine and also with culinary skills. And so we bring it all together for our patients that are facing different illnesses and different medical conditions. I love it. So hold on. I'm going to come back to you next. All right, Doc, you next. You next. That's a hard act to follow. Um, I am Darlene Eckert. Um, I'm a board-certified pediatrician in Orlando. Florida. Um, I actually had my own practice for over 10 years um, and now I work in a group practice since I have four kids of my own. So part-time mom, part-time doc, trying to save the world across the board. I love it. I love it. Okay. And last but not least. Hi, I'm Penelope Polly. I'm a board certified pediatrician and a pediatric endocrinologist. Um, I'm a mom of two. I'm also in Orlando, like Dr. Eckerd, and I have been part of E2M for now a little bit over two and a half years. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I do I do want to come back to an important part from what each of you have talked about. We have doctors doing this fitness program and you talked about, you know, your background. Can you kind of talk about how some of the things that you've learned in your background, how you see this program and how it ties together? Absolutely. With my background is, you know, we talk all the time in E2M about mind-body connection, yeah, and I'm yeah. an internist and a psychiatrist. Yeah, oh yeah, and then yeah. we talk about the meal plan and the foods that we're eating, right. and the meal plan lines up beautifully with culinary medicine and eating whole foods that nutrient-dense, not just energy-dense, yeah. and really that what you eat matters, and 100%. you are what you eat. So it, it lines up beautifully with, with my yeah. um, specialties and studies. Now, now, you know, I've always heard that cliche thing, like food can be medicine. As a doctor who focuses on that, <laughs> can you talk a little more about how exactly, how for the members that listen to us out here, how exactly is food considered medicine? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is that, you know, with the food that you eat, mm-hmm. um, you know, when you're putting it into your gut, um, your gut is a, it's your first line, sometimes part of your defense system. Right. It is, you have lots of serotonin receptors. Most of your serotonin, which also helps with your mood, are located in your gut. Right. And so what you feed yourself feeds the rest of your body. That okay. gut biome really needs to have good nutritional, nutrient-dense food in order to work properly. So right. when you don't give yourself those good, healthy, whole foods, yeah. the rest of your body doesn't work right. Your brain doesn't quite work right. The sugars are, I'm not gonna, hey, Dr. Like Paul, you know. Like, like I'm no going. endocrinologist, yeah, but you yeah. know that like these sugar spikes and these imbalances oh, yeah. and hormone imbalances right. because of what you're putting in. So yeah. it's kind of that old adage of garbage in, garbage out. Right, right, right. Um, and so you really have yeah. to be intentional and thoughtful about what you are putting inside your body. Ladies, uh, you know, I, I don't want to miss this part. Uh, I really do appreciate you being here because you, you bring validity to the program. You've got three esteemed doctors sitting here talking about things that are way above my, my level. And it's good to hear you talk about how the things in the program tie into what you do as a doctor. Mm-hmm. And so I really do appreciate that. Now, we'll, we'll jump over to Dr. Pauly real quick. As an endocrinologist, how, how what have you seen? Because we have a lot of clients that are type 2 and a few that are type 1. What have you seen in the program that could be beneficial to those folks? Absolutely. And just to, you know, piggyback with Allison, you know, it's it's interesting how E2M, the program mm-hmm. itself, aligns with the, sa- the six pillars of lifestyle medicine, mm-hmm. which is something actually I'm mm-hmm. looking oh, um, right. to get board certified as well, inspired mm-hmm. by being in this program. So mm-hmm. I feel like personally it has, um, you know, like, become an instrument for me to like trickle into other aspects of my life yeah. but like the six pillars of the lifestyle mm-hmm. medicine movement which goes with e2m nutrition as you mm-hmm. mentioned um try to avoid tox- toxic you know 
things like alcohol, yeah. cigarettes, and all that. Sleep, which we talk about that. If you doc oh, yeah. hear Dr. Reese talking about, you know oh, how yeah. important oh, sleep yeah. is. And community. So, I mean, again, that is also something that we get from E2M, that positivity, that community. Because I have talked to a lot of um, you know clients of E2M, mm -hmm. And it's like, well, what is it so special about the program? It's, Tell them. It's, it's Tell exercise them. And, <laughs> and, and nutrition, right? Yeah. And so as doctors, yeah. it's not necessarily new to us, but I think it's like mm -hmm. the community part, what sets mm -hmm. you apart, sets right, right. us apart, right, right. because it's like the day where my discipline is not kicking in and yeah. I don't necessarily want to do anything, I know that Ling is gonna call me out. 100%. I know Allison's gonna check on <laughs> me. And so not necessarily you get that without the community mm. that E2M offers. Yes. Now, in terms of the, the diabetic mm. patients, uh, clients mm. that yeah. are in the program, those actually are my favorite posts. When yeah. I see people commenting yeah. how I was on medication X and I'm not any longer, and it all goes back to more mm -hmm. uh you know dense food yes, and sir. not necessarily energy super hypercaloric you know food mm -hmm. which is all combined in the mm -hmm. in the e2m meal plan i love it now dr paula you've been with us for a while yeah i'm so <laughs> i'm super thankful to have you for a while so can you tell us how long you've been with e2m i joined in july uh of 2020. that's what i'm talking about all right yeah. whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> i love it i love it i love it yes yeah, I mean, over that over that time, can you talk about some of the highlights of you being in the program for? Because most people yeah. don't stay in fitness programs for that long, and I'll kind of hit some other questions yeah. along those lines. But I want to hit you personally, being a member for for a good duration. Yeah. What's some of your highlight moments, like That's, personal highlights? I mean, honestly, that first eight weeks okay. it was like huge mm -hmm. for me because I went from, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a lot of people that can resonate with this message, but I became a mom and yeah. a wife and somebody's doctor and somebody's neighbor in in the midst of all i kind of like forgot about me for the moment yeah. for a moment and i just let myself go i stopped exercising i started eating probably not the things that i tell my patients that they should be eating yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah. and then hitting those eight weeks mm -hmm. just gave me validation that yeah. i could find myself again mm -hmm. and it just translates into yeah. something more than physical it's mind it's confidence that yeah. i carry on with me and my friends here know already but like yeah. and i think i share with you yeah. i'm actually going branching out of my yeah. current group practice and yeah. going on my own and i, I think it. like all these confidence yeah. it's something that e2m also mm -hmm. has injected in me i love it dr darlene yeah. Now you've been around for a good bit too. I have. So Don't March of 2021. <laughs> yep. Right, I'm almost right. to my two year anniversary. I love it. I love it. So I love exciting. It. I love it. Oh, we're twins. We're twins. Oh, we're twins. <laughs> I figured that out earlier too. Yes. I, love it. I, I love literally am like, oh, yeah. we're almost catching up to you. We never will, but we will <laughs> never catch up. Yes. So you bring so much energy and positivity to E2M. Can you share some of the things you like the most about the group? Absolutely. So I'm a pediatrician. And so my big thing is prevention, right? Yeah. I feel like we are always chasing the problem after it's already there. No, that's and good. That's good. That's good. I have, I can't tell you how many patients because the parents joined E2M. So yeah. I joined, thanks to Dr. Polly, she oh, yeah. was my inspiration. Oh, yeah. So I joined because go. of her, by the yeah. way, I watched her evolve and I've watched her confidence level. Oh, yeah. She even takes care of my son and oh, I have oh. watched her evolve and I've watched her confidence and I've watched and I'm so proud of her for everything she's doing. Me too, me so too. she's another example. <laughs> but these parents, they, so they follow me and they joined and they each, I have a set of parents who lost 40, yeah. 50 pounds each. I love it. The son was on the verge of becoming type two diabetic wow. at the age of 10. Wow. And he also lost about 15 pounds in that eight weeks with his parents. Mm. Values exercise, values eating healthy, mm. you know, nutritious foods. I so I feel that what I've absorbed the most from E2M is leading by example and by lifestyle. And so literally when we talk about working out at my physicals, I talk about, you know, do you fuel your body or do you fill your body? Mm. Please answer that question for I'm me. Talking about. And right. that's what I ask the kids and the teenagers. And then they will say, oh, but I can and I can do it. I said, let's go. And we will start doing push-ups and planks there on okay. the floor. Yeah. And okay. I will do it and I will keep okay. up with them. I said, challenge accepted, let's no, don't, go. Don't challenge me in here. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what I would say. Is, and I have joined the 5 a.m. club. 
I'm very yeah. proud of myself yeah. for this. Uh -oh. I'm the kind that needs well, seven cups of coffee well. before I'm functional. <laughs> and I am now a 5 a.m. clubber with That's three cups of coffee. About. But yes. I so. love it. Thank you, Doc. Absolutely. Okay, Dr. Allison, quick for you. So uh, tell us how long you've been in the program and what's some of your highlights? So what's some of the things that you like the most about yeah. this one? Um, I've been in the program since March of 2021, oh, so 20 coming up on that <laughs> two-year mark. I love, it. Um, I love it. And what yeah. I've loved about it, I mean, kind of just piggybacking on what Dr. Yeah. Polly and Dr. Eckert have said, is the transformations. I love those messages when people are coming yeah. off medication. 100%. That Those I just love, and, you know, I, I just love seeing that. I love seeing some of the... You see some of the physical transformations, yeah. but the mental transformations, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. for me, yeah. it's almost like I can see that eating these whole foods, doing the workouts, like the best antidepressants we have. Absolutely. And like that mind body connection for me. And I yeah. see it like because our medicines will take four to eight weeks to kick in. But if you sure. do the four to eight mm. weeks of the program, hey, hey. when we get to that five week mark and then you start seeing the post change and you yeah. start seeing people change, I'm like, that's the medicine like working. That's like the medicine of like E2M yeah. starting to change. And when the people mm -hmm. really do it, like yeah. like you really take your medicine, yeah. but you really do the program, that. when that eight weeks comes and you've done that 60 days of doing that program, you see those habits form. You see the medicine, the healing. Yeah. You see that healing yes. taking place and you, yes. it shows up in the post. Yes. And so that's what I really love yeah. to see. I love it. And so with that being said, I'll ask each of you because you kind of all touched on a topic. So in your practice, how has being a member of E2M kind of helped you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think what's really helped me is just that coaching approach. Yeah. Um, I'm studying now to be a health and wellness coach. There we go. And, That's what I'm talking about. And I've really appreciated what you and the other yeah. coaches really bring and that it's you can't want it more than we do. There you go. Mm -hmm. You have to really want it. And so when I'm yeah. engaging with my patients, mm -hmm. who some of them have joined E2M as well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, and so talking with yeah. them, but I say, what do you want? What do right. you want your life to look like? What yeah. do you yeah. want? Because you have to have the vision and then we can make the goals and everything's going to tie back to right. that. So we go off of that and it's their vision, their drive. And so that's now shaped my practice. I love it. It's not me pushing an agenda. It's yeah. really patient focused. And, that, and then they have ownership. You have to own mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. All right, we'll, we'll go this way. <laughs> uh, Darlene, what, what about you and your practice? How has anything changed or anything uh, you, you brought into your practice or, uh, or encouraged through your practice since been in E2M? Absolutely. So my, mm. believe it or not, my mm. energy level is even higher now. And I, love I, it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that's energy. a scary thought. Energy. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, I, yeah. I am, my nurses struggle to keep up with me, honestly, it's because I'm good. like, let's it's go, good. let's go, let's go. And mm. you know, I come in and when a room is kind of, I call it an energy vampire room, yeah. I energize it again. And I'm like, it. let's go. What are we going to do forward? How are we going to change our lifestyle? What are we going to do? Give them that power hug. Come on, you can do it. it. So lead by example, lead by prevention. What can, what can you do as parents to help these children not it. become like this? And back to the mm -hmm. food, um, you know, food being by medicine, yeah, yeah. uh, vitamins every day oh, we get questions about what vitamins should you take? What yeah, should you yeah. do? What? And I said, eat the point. food eat the food. I said, my kids don't take vitamins because they eat the food. That's all there is to it. You eat the right food. You don't need the vitamins unless you're deficient, of course. But that to me is just such an important point that we lead with that, with our energy level, with starting the day with a good workout, with starting the day with a smile on your face. You, you don't know who, do, who needs that smile. That smile is so important. And it comes it. from E2M. Like, I would say at least 60, 70% of it, I have to say. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying that to kiss up. I promise. <laughs> I'm sold. I want to join right now. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. Well, you got to wait till the next sign ups. You got to wait till the next sign ups. You can't sign up now. You got to wait till the next. I'm ready, though. Okay. okay. All right, Dr. P, what well, about you? For me, I think um, it just gives me validation okay. that I'm okay. not just preaching and not practicing what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, I have been doing this for 10 years now, and I, I have it. been talking about lifestyle and yeah. you know eating healthy and exercising, but was I always doing it? You yeah. know what I mean? Right. So it's just right. hard to right. say, you should yeah. be doing this when yeah. I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm a hypocrite because yeah. I am not doing it. Mm. But now it's different right. because time. I can come in a room and sometimes, That's honestly, right. when I have patients that haven't seen me in a mm. while yeah. and I walk in that room, it's like, whoa, are you the same person? I love it, I love you it, know? I love it. 
I um, and it. I'm like, yeah, but well, what are you doing? Yeah. So, okay, let me tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> and you brought a lot of people yeah. in, so thank, thank you. She did. <laughs> she a lot of patience. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of patience, like mm-hmm. with Dr. Ecker, a lot of right, patience right. just like, mm-hmm. you know, they look at you. I'm like, okay, well, you've been doing this for how long? I'm like, right, right. yeah, over two and a half years. If I can mm-hmm. do it, you can do mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And a lot of my teens, like in your case, they join with their parents yeah, yeah. and it just makes it a family affair, mm-hmm. which is not an individualized plan. Right. It's a family, it's a family deal. And so exactly. it, it, it sticks. Oh, on that note, Dr. P, I'm just curious, okay? Mm-hmm. Cause you've been around for a long time, being a doctor, you know, knowing health and things like that. What surprised you most when you did the E-Twin program? Was there anything that surprised you? Um, honestly, that mm-hmm. I am still here. I love, that's what I'm talking that's about. Honesty. You're right here. Pure <laughs> honesty. I, I mean, I have yeah, tried yeah. a million mm-hmm. programs, gazillion yeah, yeah. fat diets, supplements, you yeah. name them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was just, again, not happy with what I was, and I was right. just trying a quick fix. And I, I mean, this was pretty quick. Yeah, Eight yeah. weeks go fast. And very you had fast. great I'm results, correct. by yeah. the way. <laughs> I mean, I lost 20 pounds in my right, first right, right. eight weeks, yeah. and I lost then. 15 more pounds after right. that and after that I've been on maintenance mm-hmm. for two years That's and right. I haven't you yeah. know like I I don't feel like I've regressed at any well, point yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and um so mm-hmm. yeah to me it has been that I am still doing it and yeah. I have the same energy to your point and mm-hmm. you know like I love that every round you make something different yes. to spice things yes. up yes. and let people get bored yeah, yeah exactly yes. 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 that's that's yes. what's yes. giving us I love it okay yes. Dr. Darlene what, what about you what surprised you about the program uh, so same. So okay. I, I, so I want to touch on that. Like all right, we all have ADHD. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I just, I feel like every human on the planet has a degree of it. Okay. A true, little, true, I self medicate right with coffee. Um, but so yeah. I, I feel like the fact that you keep changing things is wonderful right, because right, right, right. here we are trying to tell, Oh, they're going to do this, this, Never mind. Nope. Nope. That's not what's going to happen right now. So yeah, I have yeah, no yeah. idea what's happening right, right now, but it's really it. cool. Yeah, and I think that that's yeah. neat because people get used to a pattern and when you get yep. into this pattern you kind of start to slack and start Absolutely. to slow down and we don't do what we're supposed to do and we know yep. we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing yeah. um i would say that's one of the things the fact that i'm still here same thing i've done all the fads about. i've done all the supplements i've done everything yeah. every day i can't tell you at least once a day i say this is a lifestyle not a diet it's yeah. okay you you slip a little bit yeah. not a big deal that's get right goal. back up tomorrow it doesn't change anything. And yeah. I have repeated that mm-hmm. so many times. And so I would say, and I'm pleasantly surprised by how mm-hmm. wonderful you've kept this community. That is not easy it, to do. It, like to keep nice people. Here, here's a secret, it ain't me, it's on y'all. <laughs> We're doing an amazing <laughs> job. <laughs> we are doing yeah. a fantastic job of keeping amazing humans. 100%. Everyone today, it's yeah. just so nice. Like I just yeah. wanna hug the world. And I think that the world you're creating 100%. is powerful. And I didn't think that that was possible with such a large number. Yeah, yeah. It just keeps growing. There's more people to hug. Yeah, so. yeah 100%, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll, I'll take a minute and talk to, about something that surprises me uh, as the guy who made the program. I'm always surprised that people bring in other amazing people. Mm-hmm. We do a great job of kind of bringing in people with like minds mm-hmm. and like hearts. Mm-hmm. That's that's what, in my opinion, makes the group so strong because you bring in friends that are friends and you keep good people around you. Yes. And so I've benefited from you having good people around you. And so I'm always surprised that we consistently get so many good people. And I thank y'all for that. All right. You're very welcome. <laughs> You're saying. All right, Dr. Allison, what about you? What surprised you about each one? Well, like like um, what Dr. Pauly and what Dr. Eckert have said, like that I'm still here. 100%. You know, I thought, okay, this is some other program my cousin wants me to do. <laughs> like it's something else is going to take my yeah. money, but I'm still here. And right. it's been the best $320 I've go. ever spent. You want to pay me one time? No, yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 It's, it's, it's mind right. blowing yes. how much we get yes. and that there's still more things. Yes. And I, yes. I'm like, I paid two years, almost two years ago, and I have gotten so much out of this. Mm -hmm. And other things that have surprised me is that it has worked for me as a cancer patient. Oh man, love Um, it, it, You know, and my doctor sees me and I have more, you know, scans coming up this week and I'm not scared. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not scared because I know I'm doing everything I can Mm -hmm. to make sure that my scans and my lab work Mm -hmm. and all of my tests I have next week are gonna be good. I'm not worried. Mm -hmm. And so my my oncologist and my Mm -hmm. medical team sees me and they're like, what have you done? Mm -hmm. Because a cancer patient losing weight 
they get scared mm -hmm. right. because mm -hmm. that means mm -hmm. that your disease is yeah. worse. And right. they said, but you're getting better on these medications that make it very hard to lose weight. Amazing. How did you lose 70 pounds in less than a year? Wow. Seven That's months, amazing. 70 pounds. Amazing. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, standing ovation, love it. I love standing it. ovation. But it's a credit, it's a credit yeah. to E2M. And so when people see me in the cancer center, they're like, you're a patient? I'm like, yeah. 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 Um, and you know, and so I'm surprised. My doctors are, my yeah. medical team is surprised. And I said, but that's a, that's a tribute to yeah. the program, to the foundation mm -hmm. of the program, those basic principles, the solid workouts, the solid yeah. meal plan, mm -hmm. doing everything I can, you know, because there's no guarantee. When okay. you've got cancer, mm -hmm. those yeah. cells could show up at any time, but to know that you're doing everything you can mm -hmm. to keep fighting that a, fighting, fighting back, back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you're, and you're giving mm -hmm. yourself a fighting chance when you're in the fight for your life, it's, it just means a lot. So I'm surprised that, you know, and again, it's not, when you start to do it, it's just a routine. You get yep. into that yep. rhythm of doing it yep. to where it just becomes just part of what you do. Mm -hmm. It's not yep. something you think, I mean, you think about it, but like, I don't preview the workouts. I'm like, I'm gonna do them anyway. Yeah. I, love it. That's <laughs> I what actually like the surprise. I actually like the surprise. Go. I'm not worried what Whitney's gonna do, what, what Alicia, you know, what you've got going on hey, that, on the Tuesday I'm night. Something different. Yeah. I was like, wait, legs. I'm like, are yeah. my knees ready? I don't know my knees ready. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna right. try. Modifications get results. I love it. So ladies, I'm gonna throw this one off for whoever wants to take it first. Okay, so a lot of times we have folks in the program that came to us um, that were referred by their doctors that need to do the program that are in you know serious illness or um, you know you know have some really weight challenges and things of that nature. What advice would you give to someone that needs to be in the program? It's not just doing it for the vanity of just losing a couple of pounds for something. They really need to do it to be healthy. What and and they still struggle with trying to stay on course. What advice would you give someone? Anybody could take that one. I usually say it doesn't matter where you are. Mm -hmm. The yeah. program will meet you where you are. So Love modifications mm -hmm. are always welcome. I yeah. mean, forever and ever and ever, because as you know, yeah. You change those circuits, <laughs> and that, which by the way, I love. Yeah, spicy, yeah. I love it. Yeah, so then spicy, you know. we have yeah. to dip a little bit on modifications spicy. for a little, and that's okay. Yeah. You know, you still will get 100%. results. Yep. And the other thing is prevention, because 100%. if you start today mm -hmm. doing this, you tomorrow won't have to worry about progressing yeah. from having abnormal blood sugars into going full blown diabetic. 100%. You know. I love it. I want to mm -hmm. add to that. Um, everything she says, absolutely. And she's probably yeah. the most um, appropriate to answer first. And she is a right. pediatric endocrinologist. So she's all about prevention and specifically yeah. sugar related, you know, uh, metabolism related illnesses. So for yeah. sure, our expert on that. Um, I want to add to that that I have a friend, she knows who she is, yeah. um, literally walked 20 minutes every day. I love That's it. all she did was walk 20 minutes every yeah. day during lunch, followed the meal plan. 80%, 80, 85, so it wasn't yeah, even 100%, yeah. lost 25, 30 pounds. That's what I'm talking got about. Got so motivated, yeah. she said, I think I'm gonna try a circuit or two. I said, okay. fantastic. Did then sitting down, lost Love another 20 pounds the go. next eight weeks. Yeah. Baby steps, my number one is baby steps. Number it. two, the community, community, community. I think everyone is afraid to post. Even I am like, ah, I, I posted it. enough. Yeah. But when they tell me, they're like, I see your post, and I'm like, mm -hmm. you like when I post? Okay. <laughs> so. That, I like when you post. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Good thank stuff, you. Good stuff. Um, and so I would say reach out. I, I know of one woman who said, you know, I'm a little struggling. I did well last time, but, and a bunch of people commented, but I made sure to, so I commented, but then I messaged her and Ew. I said, hey, if you want to check in with me every day, go ahead, check in right. with me. And so we check in with each other every day, but she, because she was starting to slide. And so find a person. There are so many of us. It takes a second. We could just say, hey, did you do, what'd you do today? Yep. Send me pictures of your food. You know, what, what are we doing? And just Love one it. person can really just change that pathway. So it's, it doesn't have to be all the way over here, but instead of going this way, you're kind of going this way now. Like I love it. baby steps. I love Love it. Good stuff. Yeah. I like that. All right. I think for me, you know, with what everybody else has said, but I would add to that, you've got to have that vision. What do you want your health, your life to mm -hmm. look like? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have a vision and you're just kind of throwing things out there, yeah. it just really won't come together. So if you've Good got point. an overall vision, then I told folks, start small. Yep. You know, everything okay. begins with that first step. Okay. Movement yep. is medicine. So. Yep. If you just do like, just walk, do a seated circuit, maybe yeah. just focus on the water, but 100%. small goals will lead to bigger things. 1% progress is still progress. Correct. But you've, sure. for me, 
having a vision of what you want where are you, what's your end game? Yep. Because however much time it takes, it's whatever it takes. But yeah. if you don't even know, 100%. You, you need something to guide you. No, I love it. Okay, ladies. Now, let me let me ask you this. Is there anything that we, you know me, I'm always looking for making the program better. And uh, no person, no people better to ask than the doctors. Is there anything I can do to make the program even better? Is there anything we could add to it? I have. Sure, um, let's go. <laughs> And it's, it's something that I don't know if you can do. Yeah, yeah. It's because of the liability and things is somehow to get it so it's really the family and the kids. Get the yeah. kids, kids workouts, kids, the kids. I yeah, mean, yeah. these kids are watching their parents and if the kids want to do it, the parents sometimes follow right. them and right, not right, vice right, versa. Right, right, right. So I, I feel like prevention is critical because right. we won't face these problems of, as adults if the kids start at a young age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm literally yanking phones out of hands all day yeah, long. Yeah. I walk in the room, the hand, phone's in the hand, thank you very much hand it over. It. They throw a fit, then I'll be back when you're ready and I'll leave and I'll come back. Yeah. But we're going to talk and you're going to listen to me and you're going to talk it. to me and, you know, talking to the parents, the screen time, the screen time, the screen time. We talk about that all the time. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to have something on a screen, have an E2M workout. There you go. Fantastic. There you so go. Yeah. that's what I would say is I would really love something catering to the whole family slash children because we pediatricians would yeah. gladly start doing it in the Got offices. You. No Got problem. You. I do it with the parents, but I would, I would love some, I don't know what the logistics are of that okay, but okay. and we know that. that they're watching yeah. they're right watching. like they're watching they, they model yeah. Yeah. yes 100 percent. Yeah. i'll tell you my kids know that i work out early and they mm-hmm. wake up early i love it and they come and and and, and it's like oh okay i'll be back you yeah. know yeah. or they just join yes okay. which is Correct. Yeah. amazing so yes. you know you hit the nail on the head dr p that's what i always envision where it's like not really on on us per se, but it's on the parent to, yeah. um, a lot of parents don't prepare healthy meals. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that's something that we don't know what we don't know. Correct. And so hopefully throughout the program, as they start to eat healthier themselves, mm-hmm. they will then pass that down Absolutely. to their children. Mm-hmm. As they get into more movement themselves, they will incorporate their children with more movement with them. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of my kind of my hope that the children will kind of mm-hmm. indirectly get the benefit, yes, but right. definitely love to hear uh, that's kind of something we can think about. We'll, All right, we'll, we'll be happy to collaborate with yeah, you. Yeah, I love it. Hey, I love it. I love <laughs> Absolutely. it. Doctors, oh, hey. Absolutely. Don't put it out there. No. <laughs> Doctor recommended. <laughs> stuff. I like it. I like it. Okay, Doctor, what about you? Only thing I would. Gosh, I mean, you you already offer so much. I mean, it's really, I mean, I was joking with my my, uh, one group. I was like, you know what? need to have like some water aerobics and you did it hey. yes. and I go I look yes. and like on your water out. aerobics yeah. on YouTube I'll and I was like it out. is he hear me out. like are there I'll microphones in my house or he's watching our text messages and you came up I'll with a water aerobics yeah. the only other thing I could think of was maybe um if there were if people needed one-on-one kind of health and wellness coaching, yeah, yeah. like if you had yeah. coaches who were in the program yeah, yeah. who then could help certain mm-hmm. clients who just needed yeah. some additional help, mm-hmm. um, not taking away from the OGs and yeah, the yeah. teams and those other mm-hmm. things, but sometimes yeah, yeah. people just need a little bit more of, they don't know how to set the goals. They don't uh, know how to do those so, things. And so yeah, then yeah. having a, a health and wellness coach to kind of okay. help them um, on, on their journey. And then, you know, that could be for that first round or like a weekly check-in and then mm-hmm. this to help them get more established. Oh, ho- hold on. I heard both of you talk about wanting to do that. It might be some referrals. <laughs> might be doing some referrals. <laughs> Here is the list. Might be referring. All right. Yeah. Stuff. No, I love that. No, I appreciate that ladies. Um, kind of getting down to our last couple of questions here. You carry, each of you carry weight when you recommend something as doctors. What do you say to people when you're encouraging them to join E2M? Dr. Polly, what, what, what do you say? Because your, your recommendation carries weight. Yeah. And I appreciate you recommending so many people to the program because it's like planting a seed. Mm-hmm. Now the people you brought in brought in people, and those people brought in people. So you have personally led to a lot of people being healthy. Mm-hmm. So what, what do you say when you tell people about the program? And honestly, sometimes I don't have mm-hmm. to say anything. I love it. I mm-hmm. just post a lot. And... It has, it's like a circle and people that we went to like medical school together I and I haven't been in touch with in 10 years, randomly yeah. reach out and tell me about this program. I love it. You know, so it. a lot of times you don't even have to say so much. Yeah. You just have to walk the walk I love it. and mm-hmm. show people. Now in my, in my examination room, when I yeah. discuss with patients, mm-hmm. I kind of like position myself just mm-hmm. like what, what you were saying, you know, like. Mm-hmm. Do you have a goal? What yeah. do you want to get from this? Mm-hmm. Because if all you want 
is the magic pill or yeah. the magic shot mm -hmm. to lose weight, you're not gonna get something sustainable if eventually we get you off the medication. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I start there. Let's like let's find the foundation right. and like go from there. But sustainable uh, community positivism, right. you can get in this program, and I, you know, like that's kind of yeah. like how I present it. I love it, and you present it well. All right. <laughs> yes. so Dr. Darlene, what about you? So same, very, very, almost identical. I feel like you have to lead by example. Yep. So I, I post as well on my page, on the E2M page, um, the before and afters I feel are so critical. That's why I love, love, love when all the OGs keep posting their before love. and afters because I feel like they are very motivational. Yep. I love power stories like hers. Yeah, um, yeah. I feel I like <laughs> power yeah. stories of people mm -hmm. who have just gone through so much and are right. just amazing. Like I just admire you and so Thank many mm -hmm. so much. And yeah. I'm like, they're doing it, get up. Like, what okay. are you doing? What's your excuse? And so I use them as examples, not by name, of course, yeah. but I use these power stories of look at these and I will even show before and yeah. after photos it's doable and yep. it's sustainable and it's just every day changing your life. This right. is the trajectory of your life currently. Yep. We can change that. And sure. so you can join me and we can do this and I will help and I will hold your hand. I will help you. And they do. And like I said, these parents, multiple sets of parents have done it either as a couple or at least one of them and the other one slowly following, right. but the children are following and I the see growth. the results, the growth yeah. curves, you know, the weight curve now is they're no yeah. longer morbidly obese. They're no longer pre-diabetic at the age of 10, 11, 12. Yeah. They're now becoming athletes. Like it's really incredible it. what they're doing. And when you plant the seeds in them, now the community starts spreading there too. And so. Yep. Love that. All right. Yeah. How do you how do you sell us? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, right. honestly, the program right. sells itself in I some agree. ways. The program I sells itself. I, um, I definitely resonate, you know, walking the walk, talking the talk. It's yeah. very hard, you know, to be a physician who um, was not, take, you know, not taking care of herself and yeah. get cancer. And it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you've got to make yeah. some serious changes in your life. Mm -hmm. And so people have just seen me you know, still working, going, and then going to the cancer center and, yeah. you know, yeah. and still doing it. Yeah. And so seeing they've, they've watched me do that, but then do this program and see my ejection fraction go from like in the forties back up to the fifties, wow. you know? Yeah. And so my heart, so that people can see that. Mm -hmm. And then with my, I work with veterans and so yeah. seeing veterans and you know, what they're dealing with, yeah. with their right. emotional and physical from the, Excellent. you know, thank you for your service. Oh, you're yes. Thank you for thank your you service. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Because I have the honor of working with veterans. Yeah. And so when I talk to them about the program, I say, look, this is a, this is by, you know, a veteran. Yeah. He created this. He understands there are other veterans in this yeah. program. Mm -hmm. This is a holistic program that will help you mentally, physically, maybe even spiritually, if that's yeah. something you connect to, but this yeah. will help you in many facets better than what I can put on a prescription or, an, or in, in the notes. This is, yeah. and when they see that and they go to the website, again, it sells itself. Those pictures, people see those pictures, they see the it's testimony, real. it's real, without yes, supplements. We're not doing yeah. these fat burners, these cre creatine, yeah. I, I don't know what's out there, but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, like, cause people start trying to make it too hard. Yeah. They're yeah. making it too, and I, and I love, I tell people, you don't have to make this hard. Yeah, right. the, mm -hmm. the work itself is hard, yeah, yeah. but the process, mm -hmm. life is hard enough. Mm -hmm. This is, you've done all the yeah. hard work. You've Thank done you. all the thinking of it. We just yeah. have to do it I love and it. hit that easy button. There we go. So ladies, I'm going to ask two last questions and these are real questions. So a lot of times, all kind of fitness people will make it seem so easy. But in life, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. So how were you able to deal with your busy schedules, dealing with families, things of that nature? Can each of you talk about some of the tips that helped you personally keep going? And, and that doesn't mean perfect. What's some of the things that just kept you moving forward? Well, I was not a super early morning person. Got it. <laughs> I started my day at... Um, my first patient's at eight. Yeah. If I'm on call, I have to round before that yeah. and then go to clinic. So I had to be done by 6.30 in the morning. Wow. So in order to do that, I kind of like just started yeah. 
working backwards. Okay, I'll wake up at 5.30. Yeah. And then it was like just yeah. enough for the circuit. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, yeah. I have to wake up at five. And yes. then yeah. 4.30 uh, and then 4.20 oh, yeah. until I got to like yeah. my sweet spot yeah. to be able to do everything yeah. that I want to do without yeah. feeling rushed. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, all, yeah. and then actually it became my me time oh, wow. mm-hmm. and my, my therapy, to be honest. I love it. And so that is like my sacred time that I dedicate for myself. Yeah. Everybody's sleeping. Wow. Nobody needs me. I don't need to feed yeah. anybody. So I, I can just quietly just do my thing. I love it. I and love then it. I, I start it. the day like very energized. A lot of times I forget my coffee because yeah. I, I'm all pumped. I love and ready it. To go. I love it. I love <laughs> you know? It. So um, yeah. I, I'll say like work on your <laughs> schedule. And, yeah. you know, for me, when I get yeah. my workout done early, my day just flows so much better. I love it. Otherwise, it feels like a chore for me yeah. personally to do it at the end of the day when I have so much pending stuff. And your yeah. day, as, as I'm sure your days, are unpredictable, yeah, yeah. especially mm-hmm. when we're on call. Like you 100%. just don't know what they're gonna throw at you at four yeah. thirty. Mm-hmm. Oh, you said at four thirty. So I'm gonna get on you with this one, Doctor P. So was that four thirty early? At, when was it easy at first waking up that early? Because oh. people, will, folks, will hear four thirty and be like four thirty. So was that four <laughs> thirty no, easy at first? I, absolutely not. I mean, I'm telling you, I used to wake up at like six to yeah. at six thirty. Was like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But now it was like a process. It took yeah, yeah. me like a few weeks to start yeah. getting and, and working backwards. Like I mm. didn't start working up at four thirty. It was yeah. like just at five. Yeah. yeah. Four forty five. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. moving the needle little by little. Yeah. It took time, but yeah. everything that is worth takes time. There you go. And you hit you kinda said something and I try to get everybody to realize. A lot of times change at first is difficult. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Mm-hmm. We don't want to do it. But you were able to find in that change something you really enjoy. Yeah. So you enjoy just having a peaceful time Absolutely. to work out and spend time, okay. you know, <laughs> focus on yourself, right? Yeah. So, so at what point did that kind of occur? When you went from, I got to struggle to get up to, man, I'm excited or looking forward to waking yeah. up early. I'll say it took a few weeks for my body mm-hmm. to kind of like adjust to that. And it didn't feel like I'm exhausted, you know. Yeah. It was like... Yeah, here yeah, we go. I love, <laughs> yeah. it, I love it. I love and it. And like honestly, now <laughs> it's to the point that, you know, like if we're gonna do something as a family, we go away. And we're like, do we have a gym where we I go? Do it. we have a uh-huh. gym? Like I that needs it. to be part of the planning mm-hmm. situation mm-hmm. because that needs to happen. And if if it doesn't happen, like my yeah. husband's like, you haven't worked out today. You want to <laughs> go work out? Yes. I love it. I Better love move. It. <laughs> I love, yes, I, love I need to. Like, is he it. putting you in timeout? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's she a good timeout. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Okay, well, good. So, Dar- Dar- Darlene, how, how do you how do you kind of kind of keep pushing and uh, and do the hard things? Because this stuff is not all easy. We make it seem like it's easy, and I know I'm the fitness guy, so I make it seem all easy, but it's not. So. How do you do the hard things? So I want to comment on something she told me. She doesn't even remember telling me this. In yeah. the office one time when I was with my son, because she says she gets up at 5. I'm like, 5? Like, 5? Like, why? Yeah. Like, why? Why do people get up at 5? Why do you do that? Why? And she's like, no, I get up at 4. I'm like, 4 at 30? Oh, I'm like, <laughs> like, I started having anxiety. So, but she told me, she said, I'm a nicer person. When it. and I'm just a nicer person in general, and people like me more when I do it. I and I'm like, it. I love oh, it. I don't remember that, that kind of clicked for a second. I'm like, I wonder if I would be nicer if I did that, but I still didn't do it for a while. I love it. Then fast forward, so I would do it whenever. Like I would always do the circuit in the morning because yeah. so I have four kids, okay. um, and they're all in high school. So just wait, it. wait, what's waiting for you? Um, <laughs> so I have two juniors, a freshman, and a kiddo in elementary school, and. That's good stuff. They're very busy. So okay. varsity tennis, varsity golf, and again, modeling, right? So yeah. they, I tell them, I don't care what you do, but you're not sitting. So yeah, yeah. you have to do something. So they do lots of sports. They do academics. Thankfully, well, they're great students. And so very busy is the point. Yeah. So I would always yeah. do the circuits and I do maybe the cardio yeah. in the evening when I had time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I said this last round, yeah. I really, and I've been in since March of 2021. That's so right. it's a long right. time, yeah, yeah. but I made a conscious effort yeah. No, and I just sat my husband down. I had a, I just yeah. have a regular spin bike, not a Peloton yeah. or anything, just anything, and I had it. I said, 
I'm going to become a runner. Uh-oh. And so oh, 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 oh. he's... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, Hello. my theory on running is you should run from bears. Like that is how it should be. And here in Florida, alligators. So, uh, so I said, listen, if I start getting up and working out by 5 a.m. every day, do you agree yeah. I get to pick out a treadmill? And that's okay. what I'm going to do. Right. And he said, absolutely. I love it. I love so, it. So three weeks straight Cheer, of... Cheers to the hubby. Huh? Getting, I, getting up at 5 a.m. Yeah. Oh, he's loving the results for sure. Hello. So, <laughs> 5 a.m. I did it. I tried. It's funny. I tried out like 12 different treadmills. I couldn't yeah. decide. I finally picked yeah. one. Betsy is her name. Okay. And yeah. Betsy and I. So now I literally get up at 4:30, 4:45. Okay. I'm working out by 5, 5:15. I, I do it. not just the circuit. I do the cardio at the same time. When I say the other day, I got off the treadmill. I'm like, yeah. I'm actually happy at like oh, 6, 6:30 in the morning. What is wrong with this picture? See, she put it on you. <laughs> and even my husband said, "You are so much yeah. nicer in the morning." I wasn't oh. mean. I just was not kind. Like, if you're not on fire or bleeding, it. please don't talk to me until I'm done with my coffee. Cold blood. So <laughs> that is that. So I oh. now that I do that, I'm a nicer. Oh. I have. She is right i'm a I nicer person i'm more energetic I love, I, I love my job even more because our job can be stressful sometimes oh, it yeah. definitely has a lot of things thrown at us that are very stressful at times and for sure and then i come home and i'm really devoted to the kids and and then yeah, yeah. i'll come home and do more what like hey, see? I, see? See? I was always an athlete yeah. but not like this i was I like love it. Yeah. I love it. so that's what i would say is just make work your way forward yeah. give yourself a motivation but understand that you do you feel better yep. you're nicer you're happier it's when you it. do it and yeah. we'll be happy to help you reach out to us and we'll I be happy it. to help i love it okay uh, allison what about you yeah so i realize that i'm the most important investment that i will ever make there we go mm-hmm. you only get one body you only get one go. body and that if i don't take care of myself and yeah. i don't put myself first mm-hmm. then i yeah. can't be there for my family yep. i can't be there for my friends and i yep. can't be there for my patients and i'm not mm-hmm. being a good example and so mm-hmm. I had yeah. to realize that I need to actually schedule this yeah. in and yeah. actually make it work. Mm-hmm. And so my, my schedule has evolved over time in these two years. I love it. At first, I was doing the workouts at night in my okay. in, because of my job mm-hmm. and to keep me out of the pantry. Just being <laughs> real. True. True. Because true. Five to nine. True. Right? About. Like, true. five to nine. And then, like, <laughs> oh, the line. I was like, oh, a <laughs> snacky time. I was like, no, no, no. So, <laughs> I'm with you. Okay, I'm okay, with okay, you. So I'm not alone. Okay. Start pacing okay. in circles. Right, right. It's like, okay, he's, he's about to go live. Stay out the pantry. So, <laughs> so do lives That's until right. it was time, you know, like or do, do workouts until it was time for to stay out the pantry. Right, right. But then as I got better at it, then I moved, I kept moving it up. So then I would move it to, okay, I'm going to do it right after work. But then I would, it would make me anxious because I would have to finish work, get yeah. the notes done and yeah. try to get everything done. Cause I didn't, yep. now I didn't like right. eating out on, eat, working out on a full stomach. There we go. Cause I was like, Oh, this doesn't feel right. So I was trying to get everything done before you would go live. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, but then I was rushing and stressed out. And then I realized girl, you got to get up. There like go. you need to move there this to go. the morning. And so last October oh, and my schedule, morning crew right <laughs> schedule, oh, man, I love the it. schedule yeah. was, my schedule was about to change. Mm-hmm. And my boss said to me, mm-hmm. you know, you can change your schedule. And the first thing I thought of was how am I gonna get my workouts yeah. in? Right. And I was like, Oh, I'm in now. Like yeah. if, I, if I'm thinking about how I'm going to yep. put my workouts in and my yeah. day versus like, Oh, I'm going to make this schedule. I was like, yep. Oh, I'm committed. I love it. And so I said, Nope, I'm not going to change the schedule. I need to move my workouts yeah. to the morning. So now I'm up at four central right. time yeah. to catch the lives. There we go. And so I get everything done. And some of it's, I, yeah. I will do replays of things. Mm-hmm. So that way I get everything done. So it's it's it. circuit, circuit, cardio, and a burn. Wow. Like, boom. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Circuit, amazing. cardio, burn. Yeah. Everything's <laughs> done. Amazing. And then in the afternoons, I, I may do an additional yeah. live before, you know, your yeah. evening talk. Yeah. But that way, when I see my Motivated. first veteran, yeah. and, but the anxiety went <laughs> away because yeah. I knew I was mm-hmm. done. I could be focused. Yeah. I could be present. Yep, yep, Whatever yep. was going to be thrown at me, mm-hmm. it didn't matter because I took care of myself first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that if you take care of yourself first, and everything else will fall into place. I love it. So, so ladies, I don't want to miss out on this opportunity for everybody to know how to reach out to you, but I want to make a clear disclaimer. It's not free advice. Don't just reach out to them asking no questions. That's not how this works. They get paid for what they do. So if you're looking for a new doctor in their field, reach out to them. But again, it ain't free advice. So, so Dr. Allison, go ahead. I, I had to make sure I say that because folks will be running to your inbox. No sir, no ma'am. Yeah. This is, this is, they get paid for what they do. But go ahead. Well, I mean, they're, they're mm-hmm. certainly welcome to to message me. I will, you know, try my best to answer, but I'm always, I'm not always the best. Um, right. I will try to do that. 
unless you're a veteran, I won't be able to see you, but you know, um, and just kind of how it works. Um, but certainly happy to help people, especially those folks that are, you know, dealing with cancer, you know, I mean, that's, that's my crew. I know we've got several, um, other clients in E2M. I won't, won't say their names. Um, but definitely connected with those folks. I see a lot of different posts about different types of cancer that, and so, Mm-hmm. Um, always happy to connect with those folks because that's a special when mm-hmm. you've gone through that yeah. and you've, oh, yeah. you've, you've gone through oh, that yeah. it, oh, yeah. it changes you so mm-hmm. always happy to to help yeah. those folks in any way I love it is there any way they can follow you uh, on social media or anything with anything you want to put out there yeah I think Facebook would probably be the best um, I am on Instagram I think it's yeah. Dr. Allison J okay. and then on we'll make sure we add it to the, the and, tag as well okay mm-hmm. and then because Facebook will be just Allison J okay. that's how I'm, I'm how I usually found all right okay Okay, doc. How, tell us, tell us, you know, how they can reach out to you, how they can make you their new doctor, whatever you want to say. <laughs> so, uh, I on Facebook is the easiest way to message me. As far as just if you, I would love to be an accountability partner. Yeah. I don't care how many accountability partners I have. I love it. Um, and I like it when it's reciprocated. Mm. I when I first joined, I will yeah. say within the first eight, eight ten, twelve weeks. Mm. I just started reaching out to the OGs who inspired me. And I just was like, I just want to tell you, you inspire me and you're amazing. And, you know, I want to be that for them as well. And I, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm very far from perfect. Um, but I try and just keep trying. I love these mottos that you come up with because it's so true. So another accountability partner and reciprocating, they still, I've made some amazing friends. They message me every single day and vice versa. There's a, really good friend I met through. I've not met her yet in person, but we message oh. every single day and she works out at 3 a.m. every day. And I mean, every time I'm like, she's up already, get up. Okay. You gotta make and that happen. That, correct. That, that meeting so, has to occur. We gotta correct. make that happen. Yeah. So, yeah. I, so my, my name on Facebook is Darlene Eckert Hanafi. Okay. Um, H-A-N-A-F-I, Eckert, yeah. E-C-K-E-R-T. We'll, 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 we'll tag okay. it, we'll tag it. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm not good on Instagram. I can't work Instagram very well. So I'm officially <laughs> old. <laughs> Thank you. I'm officially <laughs> old. I'm not good at it, but I will try. The way it helps me out, but it's all good. <laughs> and it's the same thing on Instagram. Um, but really the big thing is about accountability. Um, right, right. As far as work, I work at Treehouse Pediatrics in Lake Nona in okay. Orlando. Um, and we have amazing physicians there. There are uh, six of us and we're, we're great doctors there. So, but yeah, accountability is the big thing. That's what I would say. Good stuff. Dr. Pauly, how can they reach out to you? All right, so starting in March 1st, I will be opening the doors of my own practice. The Endocrine Co. And I will be uh, serving to children with any endocrine disorders, growth, diabetes, uh, thyroid disorders, anything hormonal. I, um, I can serve it. I can serve as the state of Florida, okay. and I can do some telemedicine visits. So ways of reaching me mm-hmm. will be uh, an Instagram, uh, Doctor Sweet Penny. She got a great Instagram too. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> she does. Uh, she does. Uh, Penelope Polly on Facebook, yeah. or just the mm-hmm. Endocrinco on Facebook, or mm-hmm. at the Endocrinco on Instagram. Okay. And I do want to say something. Yeah, you you got the mic, yes. sis. Whatever you want to say. <laughs> yeah. I want to say, mm-hmm. biggie bagging with um, Darlene, uh, accountability partners have made a huge difference. Yeah. I don't want to not mention my my tribe. I, that, th- this is that time. I was going to give y'all the mic to shout yeah. out whoever yeah. you want to yeah. shout out. So you saw it first out the face. Shout out. Who, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No. I want to make a disclaimer because sometimes people are like, <laughs> you didn't say my name. <laughs> Yes. Right now, each doctor's on the spot. So oh. if they miss your name, you better not come for them because I got them on the spot. So Dr. P, if you miss somebody, tell them to come see Please me. All right, me. cool. Right? That's correct. Yeah. So I want to give a big shout out to the E2M babes. Okay. Rebecca, Marissa, Mom, Nassim, Jessica, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh there you go. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. All and the babes. All the babes. Oh, there we go. And uh, my early birds, which was my first accountability group um, that we started working out at 420. Yeah. And we are still, maybe not 420, maybe more like five now. All right. But the good, the good 420. Yeah. yeah, yeah, keep going. And um, my, um, oh my gosh. Do not come for me. Yeah, no. I'm the, I'm the, I'm, I'm the cover. The so extra, she said all of her friends. Yeah, the extra, the extra chicks. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I can't think of her name. But Jennifer Dimitri, Amy, uh-huh. Amy, uh, Meredith, B, all those girls. Love, love you it. all. Hey, look. That's what happens when you got a thousand and some odd friends in the group. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All oh, good. and Jeff, I don't want to. Yeah. So I wanted to close. At least me yeah. saying, I love this quote. I love to share it. Yeah. And I want to uh, everybody that is listening to this mm. to remember that every single day 
We are a masterpiece, and we are a work in progress. And don't forget that. I, I love it. You are definitely a masterpiece, Dr. Pig. No <laughs> doubt. I love that. I agree. All right. Hey, go ahead. Like, so shout out whoever you want to shout out. Say whatever. This is the closing comment. So whatever okay. you want to say, it's on you. So first, I just want to thank you for changing all of our lives. Thank like you. I, real, you. Re, a reality yeah, check. It's yeah. just changing all of our lives. And I feel like no matter what, you're always working towards that. Yeah. All jokes aside, I'm very grateful. So I can't say that enough because not only are you changing our lives, but therefore we can change other people's lives literally directly, directly medically. Like that is how we're doing that. So um, I also want to say my favorite quote, one of them. Um, and it's just you are one workout away from feeling amazing. There you go. I d tell myself that every single day, just work out and you'll feel better. And it never fails. I so even it. if it's a walk, you come back, you won't raid the pantry because I'm with you. At night, the pantry is my problem. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so you I come on it. just in time at 8 o'clock. Um, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's for real. It's for real. Good Circling. Um, and then yeah. I want to shout out my girls who are here who are okay. my travel companions. We were supposed to come to Raleigh. It. Unfortunately, the hurricane came, but um, Maddie and Danette. And then um, I have... E2M Spring Superstars, Rockstars, Powerhouse Ladies, these are all E2M, uh, 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 Daily Check-In and Accountability, um, okay. Shauna, Sibylla, um, Yadi, um, Becky, and Carrie Ann, and I just have so many that we check in with each other, Cece, every day, and I can't thank them enough for every day about. just being there for me, and uh, we had, unfortunately, a death in the last week, and it was, yeah. and I had like 12 people asking, are yeah. you okay, are you okay, where are you, yeah. and that's amazing. Like yep. to just, you're already kind of sinking and, and just because you're overwhelmed and yeah. to have people just pulling you and mm -hmm. don't worry, we're here for you. Anything you need. That's incredible. Yeah. I would say 50% of these people I've not met 100%. and it's amazing to me. So that's it. Awesome. I love it. All right. The mic is yours, Doc. <laughs> shout out whoever oh, you want to shout out. Say whatever you want to say. It's on you. Yeah. Well, again, mm -hmm. thank you for creating oh, this. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you really have changed my life. Um, you know, um, I just can't thank you enough. I just feel like you, you've saved my life. And um, I'm just so incredibly honored to be a part of this and to be able to contribute in some way. And you're changing the world. I mean, because these kind of things and these habits, you know, it's just it's just go spreading all over the place. And it's just beautiful to see. It's a beautiful community that you've created uh, for all of us. Um, as far as shout outs, I want to give a shout out to my cousin um, right. who told me about the program, woo, woo. Ebony. Because without up. her, Ebony, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you yeah. for telling me about this program um, and, you know, getting me on this because I was definitely not going, not being a good example for yeah. my patients. So thank you, yeah. you know, with my treatment, this has changed my life. So thank you to Ebony who started it all. Got to shout out my mom, yeah. um, Clarinda Jordan. Uh, she <laughs> she found out what I was doing because I didn't tell anybody, <laughs> and she found out. Oh, um, yeah. And she took on she took it on and has just rocked it. And it. she yeah. has brought in people. Right. She and Miss Karen yeah. are like you know these two about. these. You gotta That's watch right. out for these, <laughs> for these sixty year olds. I mean, they, are, <laughs> they didn't come to play. We like, got they all ages not, up in there, baby. They did not yeah. come to play. And so she mm -hmm. and her friends and her people from church, you know, yeah. they've created that group so we've got this sister tribe of 10 um yeah. and the ladies in that group we have the original e2m support group that i've uh was a part of um my team that i led um our movement is medicine team that we did so shout out to them all the other friends people from around the country that uh have joined um shout out there's just too many i know I we just it. don't have it. time but you all um I'm so proud of you all for sticking with it, mm -hmm. for putting your health first, taking care of mm -hmm. yourselves, yeah. um, because you're worth it. Mm -hmm. You are worth it. Every time you get up, every time you make a good choice, all of you are worth it. And I'm just so proud of what you do every day. And you're showing up for yourself. I love it. So, ladies, uh, this is my opportunity to do the reverse, to give you guys your flowers, right? Um, a lot of people give me thanks, and I appreciate that. I, I, I definitely do. Um, but um, but I'm... I'm uh, no, no day do I ever confuse how this whole program has really grown. I'm sitting here with three doctors that recommend my program. I don't take that lightly. And so I know that I wouldn't be where I'm at. I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't because of the, 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 the type of people that the program has attracted. People who just want to get healthier and want to see other people get healthier. And so the selflessness that you guys all provide, all three of you were like, 
reach out to me. I would have been like, nah. But <laughs> all three of you say, reach out to me. And you're doctors. You have busy days. You already don't have time. But yet you still said, I'll be happy to help someone else. Mm -hmm. And just like the three of you, there's 169,000 others just like that. So thank you guys for being uh, a part of the group, a part of the family, and for spreading, sharing what I say is the gift of health telling other people how to go about getting healthier mm -hmm. and supporting them in doing that. Mm -hmm. So ladies, I appreciate you. I couldn't do it without you. And I thank y'all for giving me this time. And y'all better watch this thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks ladies. We appreciate it. All right. We're thank out of you. here.